And welcome back. This is Pat Dewar. My guest today is Andrew Sabo. Andrew is the marketing chef. He's a professional speaker, author, uh, and business consultant in the DFW area that, well, in my opinion, the guy's a genius. Now, he talks a little funny, as you've probably already heard, and if you haven't, then uh, you'll hear right now. So thank you again, Andrew, for being on the show today. It's a delight to be here. Thank I you. I want to get into what you're really bringing to the table to these people because you have a, what do you want to call this, a, a six-week yeah, it's actually an eight-week program. Eight-week program? Yeah, it's the Simply Irresistible Marketing Mentorship Program. Uh, you can actually find it on, on the website. It's actually called marketingmakeover.tv, marketingmakeover.tv. Yeah, they've got it on. And uh, essentially this eight-week program will, and it's, it's fully guaranteed, it will revolutionize the way you think about marketing and what you're doing. Because if you want to build a house, you want to build it on a rock and not on sand. Right strategy, doing the right thing strategically, make sure that your business is built on a rock, a solid rock. As I mentioned, these seven areas, the marketing malfunctions, we shore them, every one, each one of them up. So make sure that, hey, you're listening to the marketplace, that your, what, and your thoughts about how they perceive you uh, is, is correct. So literally, we'll do some research. So week one is all about research. Week two is all about positioning. Weeks three and four is about the messaging. Remember, that's the, the cornerstone of that strategic arch. Then we'll flesh out uh, the marketing ingredients. Now, this is an interesting part. We haven't talked about this yet. But there's 107, actually, I'm working on a new book now, right now, called Irresistible, Your Recipe for Revenue Generation. Actually, up to 175 marketing ingredients. There's no shortage of ingredients in the marketing pantry. The question is, what's the right 20 to 30 ingredients that are right for your business versus somebody else's business. So uh, we have a process that I take them through this audit where we select what's the right ingredients which are strategically appropriate for that business. And then we also say, okay, how are you using your current ingredients? Does it match up to the message that we've developed in the previous week? So we go through that audit process. And out of that, we then prioritize the marketing ingredients that, are, uh, that we're going to implement in the first 30 days, 60, 90 days, 90 to 180 days. And by the way, this is good news for a lot of you small business owners out there, but two-thirds of those marketing ingredients don't necessarily cost money. They may take some, some expenditure of time or creativity. So there's a lot of things you can do in, in marketing your business that don't necessarily cost money. By the way, I should probably define what, my, what is marketing. You know, when I first started speaking, I asked people, what is marketing in three or four words? You know how many different answers I would get, Pat? Tons. I would get as many answers as there were people in the room. You know, in three words, my definition of marketing is everything you do. In four words, it's everything you don't do. Because everything you do and everything you don't do sends a message. So that means even how you answer the telephone is a marketing instrument, a marketing ingredient. So that's a very important part of the whole process that leads to the plan. So I, I'll take a client all the way through those things. And then in the last couple of weeks, we start implementing the first couple of elements that's going to make the biggest impact to their business in the shortest possible space of time with the least amount of investment. One of the things that's really key is that, I know we've talked a lot about marketing, we've talked about you and helping clients and things of that nature, and, and, but a lot of business owners think that they either sell a widget, use a widget, do a widget, whatever it is, but the fact is is that everybody is a marketer if they get the idea that you can build the greatest widget. You said, a, said it kind of a little mm -hmm. bit earlier. You can build the greatest tool or technique or service but if nobody hears about it, right. nobody learns about it. So one of the ingredients that has to be there is you've got to understand, you've got to learn enough marketing to be effective. Would you agree? Or? Yeah, I think one of, the, one of the worst quotes in the world, one of the biggest misdirects was whoever said this, that if you build a better mousetrap, the world will beat a path to your door. That is absolute nonsense. If you build a better mousetrap, you simply have a great mousetrap and a best kept secret without marketing. Right. So marketing is creating the demand for your great widget. You've got to create the demand. You've got to create awareness for what you do. 
Sales converts that demand. So you need to have both work hand in hand, too, because people get confused. Well, marketing and sales, they just need to sell it, right? I want to sell, everybody wants the revenue, Yeah, right? everybody we wants want, just the... We want, we're going to get to the end result, right? Cash deposit. Yeah, I want, I want to come to a nice dinner party at the end, right? I want the end result. But no, you've got to do some cooking first, and then you've got to serve it up. I look at marketing and sales, it's like a restaurant, you know? Marketing is the kitchen. It's the back of the house. It's what goes on in, in the back. And I started in the hospitality business, so I know what it's like. Sales is the front of the house. That's the direct... Uh, in interaction with, with the customer. So you're creating the demand, converting that demand, and guess what? After you've sold it, you're still marketing because you want to accelerate your business. That's what they call, that's called customer service. There's marketing elements to that. So you've got to take it all, all, all the way through. Now, people should get a hold of you how? Well, there is my main website, which is themarketingchef.com. But if you're a small business, an entrepreneur, solepreneur, and you're interested in this eight-week marketing makeover, Go to marketingmakeover.tv, marketingmakeover.tv. Like I said, you're going to get the same principles, the same tools and techniques that I give to the larger companies, which are literally, they, they'll pay tens of thousands of dollars for, and I'm taking you through a mentorship program in eight weeks. And how should they let you know that they, they uh, kind of learned about it here? Well, if, uh, Marketing Makeover TV, and there is a promotional code, DOER, D-O-E-R, I like that. You, are? you like that? Yeah, it's an implementer. You know? And uh, that it's way we know that it's, because you see, I like to, again, remember the seventh element is measure your marketing. I want to measure the outcome of the show. So it's marketingmakeover.tv, Andrew Zabo. Andrew is the marketing chef. He, I've worked with him for a number of years and the things that, just talking to him and spending time with him, and I've found that the guy just really gets it. And I know he can, in a sense, help you get it, and then help be you able become to, simply irresistible. Yes, because that's what you want to be. Simply irresistible. If you want to become simply irresistible, go to marketingmakeover.tv. This is Pat Dewar. This is the Business Spotlight, and the Business Spotlight is about letting business owners tell their story into the marketplace to deliver, well, the goods, so that other people get where they want to go. This is Pat Dewar. We'll talk to you all next time.